Hi crafters, it's Karen and I have a scrapbook process layout to share. I used the um, paper collection from Crate Paper Cute Girl. It is the sweetest um, collection. And I intended to um, scrapbook those pictures of my granddaughter Alyssa. But I did supplement what I had for the Cute Girl collection with the Crate Paper Hello Love paper stack. I don't have any 12 by 12 papers to go with the Cute Girl of the Cute Girl collection. But um, I did find that a lot of the colors and see those like sketched hearts there of the Hello Love collection. It all works really well with the Cute Girl crepe paper collection so that's what I did and then um, I decided to use that striped paper that I just showed you there as inspiration and I decided to create my own background paper this is something that I've been wanting to do for a long time and actually um, I, I love the way it came out but it came out very bold because I did use acrylic paint instead of watercolor so I'm using these uh, what's the name of them the fine touch fine touch acrylic paints uh, from Hobby Lobby they're very affordable they're like $2.99 a tube uh, so I'm using those acrylic paints and this my paintbrush and I'm using a metal ruler here just to keep my lines rel <laughs> relatively straight. I'm not going to be overly concerned with them being perfect because I don't want, you know, I don't want that perfect look, obviously. Um, I do want them to look kind of sketched out, you know. And do you see, uh, because it is acrylic paint, uh, the colors are, are very bold almost it, it turned out to be too bold for me to use those pictures that I showed you in the beginning of Alyssa so maybe if I had used my watercolors um, it might have uh, worked out better to use those um, other pictures anyway I'm using some pink acrylic paint now um, to create splatters and this pink is I think from folk art I'm not sure but it was a perfect pink to match this cute girl collection. And see right there, you can tell my lines are not straight. I mean, they definitely <laughs> are tilted there a little. But um, I think it came out very cool. And I did use some of the ocean colored uh, fine touch acrylic paint as well. It's like a minty blue color. Um, just to break up some of that black a little bit so that was another reason why now those pictures don't don't suit that background so I had to look for another picture that would work and I have this picture of me and my mother and I'm thinking that would work but then I found this playful one of Joe playing with Alyssa and this is just a really cute picture because I, I took a bunch of pictures when he was playing with Alyssa he kept flipping her upside down and she wasn't giggling or laughing or anything she was just looking around upside down I mean she just liked that sensation of being upside down you know what I mean she wasn't like wrestling and all this stuff she just wanted to be upside down and have a conversation upside down <laughs> so that's why she's not smiling or giggling she's just enjoying being upside down <laughs> so it was very funny so anyways that's the photo I decided to go with um, because the pictures in that photo um, worked really well with these with the black and the bluish turquoise um, mint color there in my in the background and in the photo so so I used my border punch I don't know what that one is but it's like a notebook type punch and I used it um, on the top and on the bottom left just to give a little playful playful um, you know element to the layout you know 
So I like that effect and it brings in more of that black border. I ended up taking off um, a quarter of an inch on each side of the paper that, you know, my background paper so that I could la um, layer it on the black, on the black cardstock. So here I'm going to um, start layering my paper and I'm going through the cute girl 6x6 six six paper pad and I decided that this pink cardstock that I have from Recollections um, would work better behind the photo because of Alyssa's shirt. It works better than the pink in the paper pad. And then I wanted to use that um, that triangular uh, green blue uh, turquoise color and that black and white sheet of 6x6 as well in my layering and I took the border punch to the pink sheet and this sheet here the black and white sheet just to tie in that um, playful element on on my layers you know just for a little bit more interest I guess I just liked the way that that looked. It kind of, to me, it suited. It suited the photo. <clears throat> so the the pieces that I had cut off of the my background paper, I was going to use them as borders on the top where that large white space is, but I decided against it. Then I cut some elements out of that sheet I just showed you and it says feel the love and seriously cute those are from the hello love collection from crepe paper and see they just match the cute girl collection really nicely so I'm thinking I, I need a strip of white or I'm sorry not white I need a strip of pink behind my photo just as a just as a little shelf or what have you, you know, just as an anchor for my uh, photo and my, and my photo mat. And I'm thinking I'm going to use this um, green piece, this marbled green cardstock um, sheet that is from the Hello collection. But I decided against that one and just went with the, the thin pink one. And I gave each end a fishtail banner. And I'm going to use those um, little pieces that I cut where it um, says feel the love and such. I'm going to leave those basically there. Now I'm going through the cute girl ephemera. And I'm going to pick out some pieces that would wor work real well. And even though this is a really cute picture of Alyssa, um, I've got to remember that there is a man in this photo. <laughs> so it can't be overly cute you know what I mean I I can't put that unicorn on here um, you know I gotta balance out the cutesiness just a little bit but I'm thinking those acid that acetate floral in the bottom right there it is so cute and I was gonna save it for another layout but I thought what other layout so I'm just gonna use it up now I'm going through the um, chipboard um, stickers and I could have used so many different ones from this um, you know the houses I could have used the houses and and such but I decided to just go with um, a couple of these horses or er, horses my goodness um, hearts I'm using some dimensional foam uh, backing to give my photo dimension I also am using that um, see that white blue frame or that turquoise frame light turquoise frame in the bottom left there I also took that from the ephemera pack and I'm gonna use it in the bottom right corner of my see there now the lay this layout came out um, I think it you know came together pretty quickly once I once I found the picture that I was going to use with this background sheet, 
I'm adhering my um, photo and I'm going to commit to some of these pieces here. I'm not going to play with them too long. I'm just going to put them down before it makes me crazy trying to decide <laughs> where else to put them. I also have a piece from the ephemera pack. It says stay wild and the pink writing on it is really light. See I'm putting it up there in the top right hand corner and I end up outlining that in black and you'll see that in the photos at the end. So I'm going to use that black sketched out heart, chipboard heart there. I'm going to use the frame to frame out the acetate flowers down there just as another embellishment cluster and these these acetate um, black hearts there like doodled hearts they are so cute I, I would love to have just a whole pack of those I have some acetate I might just try to create some of those on acetate myself so that I could have them because I love I love that that's very cool so I'm, I decided to use this the word love here from the ephemera pack um, as part of my title and my title is love at play and my I refilled my fine line bottle but the glue that I put in there on um, the scotch quick dry is kind of old so I'm hoping I'm hoping uh, it won't stick but I had trouble getting it out so I had to use a different glue. Anyway, I'm going to put a couple of staples um, there just to reinforce the acetate and for the design element too. I like, I like that. Having a couple of staples there. And these are some black, that's a black heart that I also cut out of that the same sheet that I cut out those other pieces feel the love there's Joe he brought me a cup of coffee isn't that cute and I told him to, I told him to wave and I had to show him how to wave <laughs> but he brought me a, a cup of coffee he was trying to fix the coffee maker so he gave me a cup to to test So I'm thinking I want to use some of these like puffy type stickers these are from I believe they're dear Lizzie and I had gotten them at Tuesday morning a while back and I decided to use um, a few of those hearts the shape of those hearts was was um, a good shape for the layout and they they have a gold tone to them and I thought I could use a couple of these Heidi Swap um, chipboard stickers because the colors were right but it, they just didn't work they weren't as playful as the other elements so the style style wise they didn't work so I'm going to go with um, some black enamel dots and I don't have to do any splatters on this layout because I already did my splatters with the pink paint in the beginning so I'm just adding some black enamel dots I think I'll I add another gold heart I'm not sure if I do that before I turn off the camera or not but these are some glitz small letter stickers that I got at Hobby Lobby a while back and um, I'm using them as part of my title and I'm putting the date and the bottom there 2016 and I'm loving how this came out and I'm glad I took the time to create my own background I've been wanting to do that for a while and I have some other ideas for the background I'm doing the journaling and I'm just saying how it warms my heart when I watch Joe play with Alyssa and how much they they enjoy each other so that's my layout my first layout of the cute girl collection so thanks so much for joining me I appreciate it and I'm sure I will talk to you soon bye bye now